So hello everyone. In today's video, we will learn about uh, Chaya tablet, which is a hormone-free birth control method. So Chaya tablet, which contains centchromine, is an oral contraceptive pill which does not contain any hormone. So the government of India is providing this Chaya tablet free of cost under the Nation Family Welfare Program. So it is also available in the market as under the trade name of Saheli. So Centchromine tablet, Saheli, Chaya, all are the same. So the chemical compound in this is the Centchromine. So Centchromine or Ormiloxifene, it, it is a research product of your CDRI, that is Central Drug Research Institute of Lucknow, India. And it is the world first non-steroidal oral contraceptive pill. So it is a non-steroidal compound having potent anti-estrogenic and weak estrogenic property. So it is a selective estrogen receptor modulator. It means in some part of the body it acts as estrogenic like places like bones and in other parts of the body like in uterus, breast it has an anti-estrogenic uh, action. So it is known as a selective estrogen receptor modulator. So its action is different at different places. So it causes an asynchrony in the menstrual cycle between the ovulation and the development of the uterine lining. So because of the asynchrony uh, between the developing zygote and the endometrium, it causes the implantation failure. And thus the primary mechanism of action is by preventing the implantation of the fertilized ovum. It does not inhibit the ovulation. It is very important. And the failure rate is 1 to 4 per 100 women years of use. So Centchromine can be safely used by all the women once it is confirmed that they are not pregnant. And uh, it can be used by the women of any age group whether she has children or not. And... Uh, those women who are having side effect uh, with uh, other steroidal non-contraceptive pill like Mala N or Mala D, they can also opt for this method. And this tablet can also be used by the postpartum women who are breastfeeding because it does not affect the quantity, quality or the composition of breast milk which is not seen in the case of your other contraceptive hormonal pills. So how to take this uh, pill? So uh, the dose is 30 mg and in the first 3 months it is being taken twice a week and after 3 months it is being taken once a week and each pack contains 8 tablets. So how to start and how to use the tablet? So for the initiation of the scent chromine the first pill is to be taken on the first day of your period. Right? So it is the first day of your menstrual bleeding. And then the second tablet has to be taken three days after your first tablet. And the pattern is repeated throughout your first three months. Once your first three months are over, starting from the fourth month, the pill is to be taken once a week. And then it should be continued on the weekly schedule basis regardless of your menstrual cycle. For example, we are taking the first tablet on Sunday. So for the initial three months, we have to take two tablets in a week. So first tablet on Sunday. Second will be on Wednesday. Likewise, if you are taking tablet on Tuesday, the next tablet is to be taken on Friday. And similarly, if you are taking tablet on Friday, then the next tablet is to be taken on Monday. So first three months, the schedule will remain like this. And after three months, we have to take weekly tablet. So we will repeat the tablet on the same day on start. So it comes in the two packings. So one, uh, so this packing is for the ASHA supply and uh, this is being used by the ASHA for the home distribution of pill. And this is the free supply for the distribution at various health facility. So how to manage the missed pill? So take a pill as soon as possible after it is being missed. The pill is missed by one or two days but it is less than seven days. Then the normal schedule should continue and we can use a backup method like condom till the next period. And if the pill is missed by more than 7 days, then we have to discard the pill. 
we have to use condom till the next cycle and start the pack as a new beneficiary means then when we are starting the new pack then again we have to take twice a week for next three months so, so what are the benefits uh, it has a as i have mentioned earlier also it has a no hormonal effect because it is a non hormonal pill it does not interfere with the sexual intercourse it can be adopted as a postpartum uh, option because it does not affect the quantity as well as the quality and the composition of the milk and there is a immediate return of the fertility on the discontinuation and it prevents and improves anemia its uh, disadvantages include like delay or uh, the period may be prolonged and or they may be scanty period over a period of so in the end we see some differences between your contraceptive pill one is mala n and another is chaya so mala n is a hormonal pill and your chaya is a non hormonal pill so both the tablets are being provided free of cost under the nation family welfare program so mala n is a combined hormonal pill which contains your nevonorgestrel and ethanyl estradiol while it is a non hormonal selective estrogen receptor modulator which contains the active ingredient your centchromin if we talk about doses it is to be taken daily it has 21 active pill and 7 placebo pill of ferrous fumarate but uh, it is to be taken on weekly basis for first 3 month we take twice weekly and then after 3 month we have to take once weekly uh, your combined hormonal contraceptive pill is not safe for the breastfeeding but yes chaya can be taken uh in the postpartum period as well its common side effect include uh, nausea headache mood changes irregular bleeding and it has a fewer side effect as compared to your hormonal pill and it may be delayed or irregular periods if we compare the failure rate of both the drugs the highly efficacious the failure rate is only 0.1 per 100 women years but the uh, failure rate of chaya is comparatively higher and it ranges from 1 to 4 per 100 women years of use